Live from DC, Trisha Powell. And those are them, the three brand new teaser videos for Black Ops 6 Zombies. And of course, we're going to be breaking them down. But one thing that's worth mentioning is where we're getting them from. We're getting them from a website called The Truth Dies. And you guys can check that out yourself. But one thing you'll notice is that there's actually other channels after this that are currently offline. So there's definitely going to be more videos like this in the future. So if you guys want to stay tuned and updated on that, drop a like and subscribe to know right when that happens. But for now, let's break down these. So with the first video is the most interesting one to me, but there's kind of an overarching thing between all the videos and I think it's worth first starting off with because they all start the same way, showing the rabbit, the mystery box rabbit, or as the more initiated know, Mr. Peaks. And all three of these videos start showing Mr. Peaks. And I think the reason that they are doing this is just to show you the significance of Mr. Peaks in this story, how important is he's going to be going through the story. Because there's a lot of evidence out there showing that there is going to be some importance role to this. And there's a lot of theories going out what Mr. Peaks really is. People are theorizing it's Cortifex's son, Rick Toffin's son, or a mixture of the both, or they're working together. So many different ideas that we can't get into this video. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because I think they're just trying to stress that Mr peaks will be important to this story but if we continue through the rest of this first teaser we'll actually see our first look at liberty falls now our first one really doesn't show much it's just zombies running in front of a gate and the only reason we know this is liberty falls and not terminus is because it's sunny and obviously terminus is not a sunny map so liberty falls must be this map but the next one we see something interesting we see two human not zombies running away from some zombies appearing to be in their house and this could be gameplay, but as we'll continue through the rest of these teasers, I think more than likely what we're going to be seeing through this is all of these are part of a cinematic for Liberty Falls. Whether that's an intro cinematic or a trailer, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure what's going to be happiness is just showing how Liberty Falls got overran by zombies. And this will be further shown in this next clip here, because here we see a zombie just standing around, but in front of him are two zombies eating on some humans. And I can't imagine it'll happen in game, so again, stressing the idea of a cinematic. And finally, in our last look at Liberty Falls, in our last look at Liberty Falls, we see a couple dead zombies on the floor and then what I believe to be a police officer who that probably just killed those two zombies right in front of him. And I imagine if you continue the cinematic, he's probably not going to survive much longer either. And with that, that's everything we've seen through Liberty Falls. But there's one last thing they show us in this first teaser video, and that is this logo here. Project Janus, the thing that was majorly teased at the end of Cold War Zombies. Everything Rick Toffin was working to in that game was to set up for Project Janus, and now we're finally going to see what that really is throughout this game, and that's really exciting. Now for the next one, I believe this is also another cinematic, except this time for Tournaments. And what we see here is a guard watching over these cameras and we'll get into who are on those cameras in a moment, but a guard watching over them. Now, if we use our brain for a second and think, why are they showing us the guard's perspective here? And to me, I think what's probably going to happen in this intro cinematic is that we're going to see the guard's perspective because soon after this, Maya, another one of the playable characters, is probably going to show in and probably kill him or help break out the other characters. Because if you remember, it's already been told to us, Maya's whole reason of coming to this island was to help free Requiem from this island. And I imagine that's what we're going to see throughout this cinematic. But if we actually look at what's on these security cameras, we actually see all four original members of Requiem. 
And I say four because before this, we only knew about Weaver, Gray, and Carver. But now we actually see that Strauss is here too. He's also been imprisoned, which is a little bit of a shock to me because I kind of assumed he died to be completely honest. But obviously, as we can see here, he's still alive, at least for now. Because one thing I find very interesting is that after this, they start zooming in on each individual camera and they show one person sitting around, one person's doing workout. But if we get to the Strauss one, it's interesting because right before it zooms into his camera, we see a heart just throbbing and it zooms up onto him and it looks like he's holding his head. And I don't know if that is implying that he's not going to be alive much longer because that's the vibes I'm getting from it. Why would you show a heart throbbing and show him in some sort of distress here? It just seems like something's up with him. And on top of that, he's obviously not a playable character. So there's a chance he just straight up dies here. Or at least he might just play an NPC role throughout the map. But either way, the last thing that is significant in this is that we do get a date. And what I believe it's saying is February 19th, 1991. And this brings us to our final teaser video, but it starts off by actually showing us the forecast of a hurricane. And then right after that, we get a very cool look is what we know as Terminus. And bro, this is giving some Mob of the Dead vibes, all this lightning and you know island prison stuff. And I'm all here for that. I love Mob of the Dead. But one thing I think is worth mentioning here is that in the forecast, it just showed a hurricane. But now we're actually looking at Terminus and it looks like there's a hurricane around it. And I think that's the main point they were trying to show us here. And as cool as this is, I don't think there's much we could take from what we're looking at. But to be clear, it's what we're looking at because there's actually something you could hear here that's very interesting and it's a code that I'm not entirely sure what it means. But the numbers they give us are 7, 6, 11, 5. And if you guys have any ideas what that could mean or what they're referring to here, then let me know down in the comment section below. But right now, I can't imagine we'll be able to figure this out. This is probably something we'll figure out more and more as more teasers come out. But regardless, that's everything we got in these teasers and i'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about this are you guys just as excited for black ops 6 zombies as me and just loving what you're seeing here or just let me know anything like that and if you are excited you know drop a like subscribe bell share like great stuff you know what it is and i'll catch you guys in the next black ops 6 zombies video